God bless, God bless, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless. All right. This is going to be a blackout session. I just want to get these messages out so that I can continue to receive more messages from God. Amen. So, hello. My name is Juani. I'm a prophet of God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome. Let's begin with prayer to Archangel Michael. San Arcángel Miguel, San Arcángel Miguel, defiéndenos en la pelea. Suena nuestro amparo contra la maldad y las hechanzas del demonio. Reprímale, Dios, como rendidamente te lo suplicamos. Y tú, oh príncipe de la maestra celestal, armado con el poder divino, precipita al infierno a Santanas y a todos los espíritus malignos que para la perdición de las almas van a por el mundo. Amén. Right. So, I was in Bible study and I asked God, um, for a movie specifically or uh maybe another prophet to maybe start giving me more insight into this reading of Ezra's and I didn't get a prophet I got a straight movie and you guys know I can't watch tv given that I'm sensitive amen amen now I only got through the first seven minutes before the Holy Spirit came in and started talking. So, this is the revelation I received. And the revelation is that you have to understand that there was a time where people felt so guilty that they felt they couldn't come to God. There was a time and there there are times that I have felt that way before I found Jesus or before Jesus found me. I can't go to God. I, I, t God, you know I'm not holy. God, all the things I said, all the things I've done in my life, like there's just no way I can get on my knees and just like pray. Like the level of guilt that would haunt me. Like I'm, I'm not, God, they would never accept me in a church. God, they would never, I understand it. I understand it. Lord, everyone laughs at me. Because everyone knows more about my sinful nature. What, uh, essentially, what is Johnny's sinful nature? I don't know. Think about just like clubbing, partying. Experiencing life, essentially, without so much giving any praises to God about it. So you have to understand that there was a once upon a time where many people felt that way. And that's what the book of Ezra's was, was the first few minutes I got through it. Was that people felt that way. And Ezra's was a prophet letting them know of the good news to come. That, that God would send his only begotten son. Okay. Because of Jesus. Because we can cover ourselves with the blood of Christ to say, Lord forgive us forgive us of our sin right it's a gift it's a gift and to the prophets today um the true prophets through our lord and savior jesus christ like myself who received the angelic dove who received the calling right holy spirit fire the holy ghost the angelic dove because of his death is the gift that has been announced unto us it's more of a responsibility than you guys know it's more of a responsibility because you know that you can't make a wrong move and if you make a wrong move the outcome is death and making a wrong move will come from pure disobedience so that's why it's it's very important to walk in a an angelic state i want to say that an angelic state and what's that being obedient to god being pure in your heart uh not falling for the antics of the devil which is pride boasting not being humble it, it's really dangerous um, and it, it's it's also hard because the chosen ones are gifted. You know, it's the same way we can manifest. We're talented. We don't have just one gift. We have multiple gifts. And those 
those gifts bear great and amazing fruit and it's it's hard not to to get in your ego and it's a great thing that the lord is patient but eventually uh when when you're truly chosen like that and you you use your gift you have to understand that it reels in a multitude of a multitude of satanists that's what it is that's what they are haters of god because you know that that gift comes from god amen amen <sighs> with that being said understand that jesus is also a gift to many of us not just the holy spirit not just being a prophet he's a gift to all mankind amen amen and there was a time where people felt guilty that i can't come to god but because of jesus we were covered in his blood you died for our sins i i tethered back to that connection i'm tethered back to the lord all right there, there's literally nothing you can do that could separate you from god's love and i mean it i mean it i've been told by the holy spirit that even if like this is i really thought i was going to be like a cartel priest i really thought like dang i'm going to be like a gang gang priest <laughs> where like i'm going to have to forgive people of their sins people who are people confess to me why do people confess to me like ah you're holy and the first thing i want to do is confess to me i could be better oh i've done and i know because your spirit knows my spirit my spirit's pure i don't ask people just say i don't know why i feel so comfortable it's my spirit i carry the holy spirit and it wants to confess so i really thought that that was going to be like <laughs> that was going to be like a calling of mine and that's why you can't judge anyone i can't judge you for breaking your commandments because god really gave his only begotten son for your heinous crimes i want to say that for the worst things that you've done and i don't know who needs to hear that but it, it's a very very true thing um and sometimes uh, what what really separates you from god what what really breaks that bond because there's people who believe in jesus it's not coming to true repentance it, it's something to say like oh i broke a commandment and now i have to cover myself with the blood and lord please keep me from ever having to do this ever again lord please keep me you see that's that's different as opposed to someone who's like yeah i did it oh yeah it's gonna be next tuesday i'll do it again that's no no that's not true repentance that's someone who's determined they're not seeking a way out you're they're not that's not their lord and savior um and the lord understands like cycles of oppression cycles of, of sin that that keep you in in the in that bondage right um and this is exactly you have to understand that lord jesus is, is just he really is such a gift uh, and people really don't understand that and even in today's world people really feel ashamed to to come back to god but it's this is exactly what lord jesus is for and in the book of ezra that got revealed to me now the second thing that got revealed to me uh, within those few minutes of study was I asked God a question and I say we went over the parable of the fig tree right um, he said now learn a parable of a fig tree I, I don't know if this is Matthew or Luke and I believe he it was about fertility um, and we, that you would know the season so you know that when the fig tree bears fruit that summer is come nigh like summer is near okay and then as they were reading so basically in Ezra's way back when Ezra's gained the courage to open up the Old Testament and read it to the people in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was without form and without void there was a darkness and then the light then the then the Lord made the light, right? Amen. He made Jehovah. <sighs> Forgive me. Hold on. And what I'm trying to say is, I had a question about the fig tree, and there were he once he got to the moment of Adam and Eve, 
um, this Bible depiction stated that when Adam and Eve sinned and they knew that they were naked, um, they grabbed together leaves from the fig tree. And I was like, oh, that's why God despises the fig tree. That's why he curses the fig tree because we were never like we were we you know what it is to be so naked in front of God. And then we, we felt ashamed to the point we had to start clothing ourselves and, and covering ourselves. And that's why oh, so you curse the fig tree. So that was that was a revelation I got as well. Um, that That's all I have for you. I really believe that as I step into this study tomorrow that there will be some kind of revelation for Sunday. I don't know what the Lord has going on. He said something about Sunday. Sunday's supposed to be he's about to, he's about to do something, all right? So, I love you so much with the love of Christ. That that really is I just need you know, you know if you're a prophet and he speaks to you, you know that before you can get more, you got to let certain things go. So, I love you so much. Uh do not be afraid to go to him, especially when you make Jesus your Lord and Savior, especially when you say, now there's one that died for my sins and Father God, I need you right now. I don't know who needs to hear that, but if this is a perfect time to drop it. I hope it speaks to your soul. I hope it gives you that peace of mind. I hope that it gets you closer to God and I hope it gets you closer to his kingdom to let you know that he already purchased you for an inheritance, that you are blessed beyond means and that no devil in hell can break that covenant that, that he has with you, all right? So I love you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye. Let's close this out in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. Bye, angel.